Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's an unusual one today, uh, just me traveling alone, uh, no Gemma, no Jacob or Esme. Um, I'm actually going on a road trip over to California and I thought I would um, vlog some of it. Uh, we've always wanted to fly long haul with uh, Aer Lingus. Increase the number of flights that we do to Orlando, both from Dublin and Manchester, so a lot of people travel those. Um, we've never travelled with them, so I will be vlogging that to see what long more like with Aer Lingus. Um, we're just on the way to the airport now, after parking in the car park. Um, so far with Aer Lingus, I've got to say, um, I might just be really unlucky, but um, I tried to check in yesterday, you have to check in 24 hours in advance. Um, the app wasn't working. I went online to do it on the website and that wasn't working. Um, I spent 45 minutes on call with customer service and uh, eventually got through to someone and she said, no, you can't do that. Uh, the, the website's not working. And that was it, great matter of fact. Try again later, try again in the morning. Um, I did try this morning. Uh, the app still wasn't working. Um, I logged on to the website and was able to check in online this morning, thankfully about half you this morning. You just don't need it though, especially when you're traveling long haul. You, you want all that sorted, you want to know where you're sitting and you don't need to worry about that. I spent a good 40 minutes on line this morning, which I shouldn't have had to do really. But anyway, um, it's all sorted, I'm booked in, I've checked in now, so uh, we'll see how the rest of it goes. Um, I've, oh, I've heard pretty good things about Aer Lingus uh, long haul, we've used them short haul before, um, so we'll see We'll see what it's like. Um, as I said, I'm going to California, I will extend it some time in Santa Monica for work and then on to Anaheim, which some of you will probably realize that's where Disney California is. Um, as I said, I am working, so I'll be busy during the day, uh, but I'm hoping to have at least one evening free to explore uh, in Santa Monica and another evening free to explore Anaheim, and I might even try and get an evening at Disney if I can. So I'll take it along with me um, and see, um, see how I get on. So we just to update you, I'm in the airport now um, and I mentioned earlier about the app being down and people struggling to check in. The line for backdrop and check in for Aer Lingus is the whole length of the airport. I'm going to turn around and show you. The line that I'm in is for backdrop only. The line on the right hand side, which is arguably longer, is for people to check in. I can foresee real issues here. Uh, for people checking in, taking so long to check in. Um, I've also got with through pre-clearance for the US, so I'm hoping by drop will be that bit quicker. Um, but the length of the queue here is insane. Um, the information on the website was non-existent. Um, there was no information saying, apologies, the website's yeah. down. You can't check in online. There's been people I was speaking to who um, haven't able to uh, get their boarding passes printed off. So it's going to take longer here at the airport. There's no information on the website or on the app to apologize or say, um, arrive early. I suppose it's common sense to do that, but there was no recognition that there could be issues here. So hopefully it'll go smoother than it looks, but at the minute, I'm not hopeful. So I'll take some of that back, actually. Um, we, um, I say we, so used to saying we, it's just me. Um, I got through bag drop and I'm through security probably all within about 25 minutes. So it's only about 10 to one um, and I arrived about half past 12. So yeah, better than I expected. It was quite slick actually. So I will take back what I said about possible issues. Um, I'm not gonna get the pre-clearance to the US. Um, see how long that takes and now I'll get some feet through the other side. Sometimes it can be quite quick, it just depends on the number of US flights. I think there's normally quite a few on a Sunday. So um, yeah, I'm going to head there now and I can't film in there obviously, um, but I'll update you once I get through the other side. So one of the benefits of, I'm just coming to the US speaker here tonight, one of the benefits of flying directly to the US from Ireland as opposed to from the UK, you can clear um, customs on this side. It takes a little bit longer, but you're out there for it anyway. It means when you get out the other side, you're just straight out, grab your bag and away you go. Sometimes customs at US airports can be quite long, especially at um, busy places like Orlando, etc. Um, I'm flying at LAX today, so um, we'll 
it really makes a difference. And I'd rather do it this side and have more time the other side, so um, I hope it won't take too long. probably got the fastest I've ever got through pre-clearance. It's not even 10 past one. Um, and I so it was at about 40 minutes in the airport and that's been bag drop, um, check the bag in, bag drop, through the first security, the normal security, and then down through pre-clearance for the US, all in 40 minutes. So um, Dublin Airport are um, on it. Um, the last time we flew at Dublin Long Haul was when we all went to uh, Orlando last uh, August, which I'm sure you've seen, um, and it was equally as good then, probably not just as quick as this, um, but today it just seemed really, really smooth, so yeah, good, I can go and relax and grab something to eat and chill before my flight. So yeah, I just want to come on and give you a quick update. I um, just had some lunch there um, at the little whiskey bread place, um, chicken burger stuff like that, was absolutely grand. Um, about half an hour until um, the flight is due to take off. Um, we haven't started boarding yet, uh, but I'm not really concerned about that. The Seattle flight that's going at the same time is my boarding, so I'm sure we'll be called shortly. Um, I did hear an announcement earlier for the Orlando flight for um, Aer Lingus that there was uh, no Wi-Fi and there was an issue with the entertainment system, so I'm really hoping that's not the case with ours, because 11 and a half hours from Dublin to uh, Los Angeles is a long time without, uh, without any entertainment stuff. I did download some things on my phone just in case. Fingers crossed, all goes well. Uh, just a quick update. Um, cabin's come on, I think there's about a 20 minute delay. I think they're waiting on some passengers coming in on another flight oh, yeah. from the UK. So it's not really their fault, but the rest of us are going to be held up um, in the meantime. But the flight time's only about 10 and a half hours, so we should make a time up in the air, uh, which is great to hear. I mean, there shouldn't really be much delay on the other side. Um, I'll show you a bit about the plane and, and what's been provided. So, Entertainment looking okay. Um, some recent releases. Um, movie wise, there's also TV shows by different. Yeah. It's quite good. Um, probably as good as we've seen on Delta um, and Swiss Air that I flew on recently. It was quite good. Um, we also got standard pillow blanket and headphones um, there's USB in the back of the uh, seat to charge the phone which is always handy. So yeah, the plane's a 242 setup so there's um, two by the window, four in the middle and then two the other side. Very similar to the Delta planes and Swiss Air, they're all pretty much gone this, um, this way now. Um, it seems comfortable, pretty hot on here but I think it always is before they, they get gone and the full air cons been going so um, I think you just want to sit and relax and uh, I'll start a movie. Just looking on here, and there seems to be prices for alcoholic drinks, so I assume that they long haul alcohol have been included. Um, but there seems to be a price next to um, these, unless these are special wines that, that aren't included. Um, but at the minute, at the minute it looks like um, everything is chargeable so uh, well, uh, it's the first long haul flight that this is the case if, if that is uh, if it is indeed uh, correct and there's a price on there for anyone to drink spirits so yeah, i will um i'll update you once the once the service oh yeah our service all soft drinks are free they have snacks but anything alcoholic you have to pay for so the food with their lingus was fine. There's a nice beef stew with potatoes you can't really go wrong with, along with a mousse, water, and a little pasta salad. Um, Seat-wise, um, there's the reasonable leg room. It's not the most roomy plane I've been on, but also not the smallest. Service overall was fine. It, you know, they tell you exactly what you're going to get and how long it's going to be between uh, bar service and food service which was uh, which was fine not too forthcoming with the drink service um they came around with some water but in and outside that you need to go to the galley um and ask for that which they were happy enough to give you um but they weren't bringing it around and, and offering it to you really
So I'm here uh, at LAX, walking up to get the car rental. This airport is huge. I didn't expect anything else to be honest, but it was going to be massive. Uh, it was quite quick getting off the plane. It took a while for the baggies, but what to expect? A huge flight. Um, and I'm just walking around the airport towards the car rental. So I'm on the rental car bus. Um, the little shuttle that takes away those uh, enterprises. Coming up to about 10 to 4. Uh, sorry, about 10 to 8 in the evening here at LAX, which means it's about 10 to 4 in the morning back at home. So it's been a long day. I didn't sleep on the flight at all. I didn't really get comfortable. Um, flight was fine. Uh, food was uh, was nice. I think beef stew with cubed potatoes. It was a nice ice cream. There was a little mousse. Um, I think I really put that in. Um, he weren't coming round after that really with drinks. You had to go and ask. But I think again, yeah, just at the end we save a bit of money. Um, not, they weren't as forthcoming as they would be in, in some of the other airlines we've flown on call with. Um, and the in particular, the service was very good. Um, and we flew on call with um, Swiss Air, and they were excellent uh, quite recently earlier this year. Um, so, yeah, Airlines is what it is. Uh, you get a direct flight, you get to um, do pre clearance and things like that, so there's benefits. But I certainly wouldn't be willing to pay a lot more money for it. I think I'd rather. Significantly cheaper at going direct um, and have and have a more complete uh, car service and everything like that. But I suppose it just depends on the Anyway, so from here I'm going to pick the car up. I've got about a half hour drive to Santa Monica and then uh, get my head down and get some sleep because I've been out for about 20 hours at the moment. So I'm here, I'm at the hotel, all checked in. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. It's now. 25 past 9 in the evening here in Santa Monica um, and we're 8 hours ahead so that's 25 past 5 in the morning back at home so I've only been up 24 hours um, I am starving so I'm going to pop out and grab something to eat apparently there's a few restaurants about 5 minutes away um, the hotel was pretty straightforward to find um, the drive from LAX to Santa Monica again was pretty straightforward um, if you're using sat nav, um, it's all freeway, and then uh, you just take the turn off and follow the directions. It was absolutely grand. I um, can't really see much outside because it's dark. It's, um, it got dark here about eight o'clock, quarter past eight. So um, I'm sure it'll be better in the morning when I can actually have a good a good look around in the daylight. Um, I'll give you a little room tour. Um, the rooms are basic enough, but they're they're absolutely grand. I'll just turn this around. This is by the door. Um, so I'm just looking in here. You have a little separator here. Little um, wardrobe hanging up um, for safe iron, iron board hanger, little shelf. Um, this must be a connecting room. Uh, big mirror here, um, luggage rack. Um, of course, quite basic. It's quite quite nice. Um, two queen size beds. Kind of like a beachy nautical theme. Um, slatted shutters on the window, which is good. Um, air conditioning, little work desk, um, chair, dresser, and TV. I'm uh, just going to check the bathroom. There's the light. So, shower and everything there. Toilet towels. Big sink per unit with a big mirror, so yeah, absolutely grand. And um, hair dryer down there, um, coffee maker in the bathroom, weirdly. <laughs> um, some toiletries and uh, soap and washer, and that's even provided. It's good, yeah, absolutely grand. So, as I said, I'm gonna pop down and grab some to eat quickly, um, and that'll be the end of a very long travel day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my travel day. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested to see what else I get up to during the rest of this series in California, please do uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video ever again. <laughs>
like button and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video.